You haven't eaten for a while now, ma'am. I'm really worried about you. At least have some shikundu. Thank you, my daughter. Oh, I knew your father for the past 35 years. I just don't know how I'm going to survive without him. Don't you worry, ma'am. We are going to pull out of this whole thing together, okay? I promise you. Mm. Oh, Dad was such a loving man. And a loving husband. I really miss him so much. I miss him too. <laughs> and he was such a funny man. Have I told you how we met? Nobody home? You! Oh, my sister-in-law. I brought you some fat cooks and kapana. You must eat, my sister-in-law. Strength comes from the stomach. Thank you, Tate Haidua. Don't thank me. I'm just doing my obligations as the oldest brother of the Nashilongo brothers. Thank you anyway, thank you. My in-law, don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. That is exactly the reason why I am here as the oldest of the Nashilongo family. To make sure that everything will be fine. You will see a lot of things will change around here because I am going to take over everything. Take over? Yes, take over. And that includes everything my brother have worked for, including the land. Do you have a problem with that? Yes. I do have a problem with it. I do, please. My husband hasn't even been buried for a week. And here you are fighting over land and properties? Listen, Nelao. This is not called fighting. This is not fighting at all. Huh? I am here claiming what is rightfully mine as the eldest brother of the Nashilongo brothers. I am entitled you to... You are entitled to nothing. Everything that you see here belongs to me and my children. And whatever I wish to offer you depends on me. <sighs> Woman, whatever you say, the land automatically falls under my control. And I will personally visit the traditional authority to claim what is rightfully mine. I do, please. Just leave my home. Ah, okay. Did you not just hear what my mother said? Please just leave us alone. Are you trying to be cheeky with me? Huh? You know very well it's against our tradition for a widow to be, to remain on her deceased husband's land. Now you listen. You take your small belongings and go back wherever you come from. Let me make it clear to you, uncle. My mother has taken care of this land for almost 35 years now. Okay? My brothers and I were born here. And the Communal Land Reform Act grants my mother the rightful owner to remain on this land. And as much as you know your way to the chief, we also know our way. We are going to take up this matter straight to the headman. And don't you dare tell me about land reformation action or whatever the nonsense you're telling me. Huh? What do you think you know, huh? What do you think you know? You think you are clever? Ah, we'll see about that. Bring my food. It cost me money. <coughs> oh. What is wrong with him? Has he no shame? Ah, ma'am, don't you worry about Uncle Haidua. As long as we know our rights, we are safe. And what do you know about Land Reform Act and land reform board, all this, my child. <clears throat> Ma'am, I know quite a lot. And where did you learn about this? Do you remember the other time I attended a workshop by the Conrad Adenhauer Foundation in our village? Yes, that's where I've picked up quite a lot of information. It was more about strengthening women's land rights in Namibia. Wow, that is very good. But I fear that the headman is going to grant your uncle 
the right to our land. They have been friends for quite a, uh, a long time now. No, ma'am. As much as the headman has the primary power to allocate customary land rights, he must act within the law. If he does not respect our rights, the Communal Land Reform Act provides for an appeal process. First, we have to go to the Office of the Traditional Authority. If they can resolve the issue, it will be taken up to the Communal Land Board. But ma'am, in the worst case, we can also appeal to the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Land Reform. And this we must do within 30 working days of the decision that was made by the traditional authority. The Minister of Land Reform will appoint an appeal tribunal. And the members of the uh, tribunal have the right skills, they have the knowledge, and they also have the experience on how to deal with these cases. Oh, my daughter, you are the best thing a mother can have in a situation like this. Oh, mom. Only in a situation like this? Okay. In a mother's life. <laughs> okay, what now? Oh, yes. I almost forgot. We must now make an application in writing on official forms that you accept the land. And then you must hand it to the Office of the Traditional Authority. They may require relevant documents such as marriage certificate or proof that you are married under customary law to decide on the matter. The law says, as your husband's widow, you have the priority and the right to stay on the land. That workshop was really informative. Since your uncle took his food back, let me go and prepare something for us to eat. Oh, by the way, what time is your husband arriving? He should be here later this afternoon. I think Kapidi has just arrived. Oh, guess who's here? Oh, it's my Oh, wife. my husband is oh. home. How are you? Good. Nice to see you after a long time. Eh? Oh, nice to see you too. Interesting. How was the journey? Ah, it was okay, but with all those animals in the way, one has to drive very slowly. Oh, something smells wonderful here. Yes, your favorite dish, Oshifima and Matangara. Matangara? Yes. And for what do I deserve such a honor, my love? I'm just appreciating my loving and caring husband, you know. Mm, that's my wife. By the way, tell me, how's everyone and the family doing? Are they coping well? No, the family is doing quite well. Uh, we had a visit quite earlier this morning from Uncle Haidu. And then he was really harassing mom about these land issues. Ah, that's very disrespectful. Does he not respect other people's right? Or is he just that very ignorant? I think it's both. You know how Uncle Haidua can be sometimes. Hmm. Okay. My love, talking about the land, how far are you with our applications? Oh, I'm getting there. You remember the workshop that I recently attended, that mm -hmm. I told you about earlier? Yeah where women also have the rights to own uh, communal land under their own name. Oh, yes. The one which is about strengthening women's land use and land rights in Namibia? Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, you still remember, though? Some, some of the people in this village have heard about our plans. Mm -hmm. And in fact, my own brothers are telling me I'll be disgracing the family if I don't put the land, the communal land, on my own name. Oh, and what did you say? My love, mm -hmm. we are partners in this marriage. And most of my time, I'm on the road. You should take full responsibility of our land. I think you should apply it on your name. Oh, thank you, honey, for trusting me. Some men really don't understand that women have as much as right to communal land, just as they do. Your husband understands all that women do, whether they are single, married, divorced, or even we do it. Whether they want to do farming, or they want to do a homestead, we all have the same rights in Namibia. Babe, why are you staring at me like that? I'm just thinking how lucky I am to have you in my life. No, 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 no. I'm the lucky one, my darling. 
In fact, I'm the luckiest man on the earth to have you. Tell me, when are you meeting the headman again? First thing tomorrow morning. Oh. First thing tomorrow morning. Should I join you? Should we take a walk? Yes. Let's go, man. Beautiful. 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 I am actually proud to say that uh, women, married or not married, are standing up for themselves these days and uh, applying for land. I'm thankful for your supporting my daughter's application for land and also taking time to solve this issue between me and Tate Haidua. How can I be against women empowering themselves? For too long, we have oppressed our mothers, sisters, and daughters by denying them their rights. But uh, that's all uh, in the past now. Oh, that's a good, good afternoon. That I do a good, great, good, good. Hey. good. Mm. What are these women doing here? Oh, well, uh, because uh, everybody has the right to be here. Is that so? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I brought you a walking stick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice walking stick, very strong. I made it myself uh, thank you, from thank a camel from tree. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. And uh, please uh, take a seat so that we can uh, begin with the proceedings. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Walking stick. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, um, we are gathered here today to discuss the late Mr. Natangwe Hishinashi uh, Nashilongo as a land allocation. Meme Nilao here wants to remain on her late husband's communal land, but uh, Tatehidoa has an objection. Tatehidoa. Please uh, explain. Uh, thank you, Tateguru. Thank you. Uh, as the oldest of the Nashilongos, huh, it is my duty and my right to take over everything that belonged to my brother. That includes the land. The widow... And what must the widow do? That is my home. Tateguru, can I please be allowed to finish? Uh, please, huh? please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. This woman, this woman here must remarry or she must go and stay with her children somewhere else. This is hard work of my late brother. Huh? With all due respect uh, that I do, you are not very well informed. The Communal Land Reform Act says that when a spouse dies, his customary land rights will be allocated to the surviving spouse if the surviving spouse wants this. Oh, but, uh, but this law was passed by the Namibian parliament which represents us all. In cases where customary law is in conflict with the constitution or any other statutory laws, these laws will prevail. When customary law and the constitution or any other statutory law do not conflict, the different forms of law might apply. The law gives you the priority to remain in your deceased husband's communal land. I will allocate this land to you. I will send your application with my decision to the board for the issuing of the certificate. But since when do women uh, own land? Huh? That land belongs to my brother. 
It is because you do not have respect for tradition that the things are going the way they are. Women have got no right to learn. Okay, okay, Tati Haidua, you have said enough. It is important to uphold the tradition, but we must also respect our laws and the Namibian constitution as the supreme law of our land. These women have every right to own or apply for land just as much as any other Namibian and as the wife of your brother. Natangwe's land rights are passed on to his wife and the children, and that is fact now. <laughs> is that so? That yes, is so. so. Now I see everybody is ganging up against me. Huh? Even you that used to drink with me. Total human integration, national reconciliation. I am so proud of this nation. Yeah. Unity. Uh, unity. Uh, Stability. Uh, 